Hello, good people. Welcome to today's lesson that is mathematics. And uh, today we are going to talk about multiplication. And in multiplication, because we already did addition, we are just going to introduce the sign for multiplication. And I am Tobias Mulewa Kahindi from Aga Khan University, course participant. Welcome. So before we go deep into multiplication, there are some things we have to know and talk about. One, terminologies like groups and items. In multiplication, we are going to use these terms, groups and items. Not only that, but we also have to put in mind multiplication sign, the one we are going to introduce today. And we've seen that the multiplication sign is the, the symbol of an X. Now, getting the soup of everything, number of items in each group, that one should be put into consideration. When we are dealing with multiplication, then we are having the number of items in each groups. Remember, we've said at first that we are going to deal with groups and items. Then our sign, multiplication sign is there. This one will be multiplied by the number of groups. So we have number of items in each group. And there we have got the number of groups. After you multiply those, then we'll get our answer. But remember this. To work well, there has to be the same number of items in each group. So that everything will be work well. Now, let us take the first example and work out our multiplication. The question goes, how many legs are there? How many legs are there? We've got some animation of people here. These three people, we'll consider them as our groups. And the legs which you are looking for will be our items in those groups. So, in so saying, then we see there are two legs in each group. Two legs per person. Way back, we are used to saying now it is two, add to two legs, add to two legs. But now because we are doing multiplication, we are talking about groups and number of items in the groups. So we have items and the groups. How many items are there? The items here are the legs. So we are talking about two items. And how many groups are there? The groups are three. We've, have, we've just said that we are taking these people as our groups. So we've got two items in those three groups. Then we introduce our multiplication sign there. Instead now of saying two, add to two, add to two, we say two multiplied by three. And in that case, then we'll get our answer as six. Okay, we're good to go. Let's see uh, the next example, example two. In example two, we've got four groups. In these four groups, we have three items each. So, there are three items in each group. And in these three items in each group, then, at first we used to add them normally, but now, Today, because we are going to introduce, and you say that here we are going to deal with addition, then we go away from addition to multiplication where we are dealing with items and groups. So we've got three items, then we multiply by the number of groups. Of course, there are four groups. When you do that, definitely we'll get 12. You can confirm three plus three, plus three, plus three will give us 12. But because we don't have to use a lot of space, we just use this multiplication sign. Now, just take this note. We were talking about groups and items. When dealing with multiplication, remember to put down note of groups and items. Two, to work well, there has to be the same number of items in each group. If you have four groups, let group A have two, group B have two, group uh, C have two, but not group one to be having seven items, group two to be having six items. No, it won't work like that. So thank you very much for having your time to be with me. Nice time.